Today I'm headed to Columbine Canyon just outside of Cuesta. Only a half an hour north of Taos, this trail cuts through the heart of the Enchanted Circle. And why am I venturing to this gorgeous neck of the woods, you may ask? Why, I am taking a llama to lunch today with outfitter and guide Stuart Wilde. Because we will literally be hiking the trail with llamas and enjoying a picnic lunch, this is the official name for one of many popular excursions that Stuart and his outfit, Wild Earth Llama Adventures, offers. Right now, Stuart is brushing down the llamas and prepping them for our hike. This allows my fellow hikers and me to become acquainted with these docile creatures. See, see, I'm friends. Kitu likes me. Rio, you're all about it. I come in peace, man. You guys are soft. Stuart will be pairing each of us up with our own personal llama for the hike. Michael, I think uh, we're going to have you work with KT today, so come on over and give him a, give him a little man hug. Right around his neck, man. Squeeze him up. Come here, buddy. It's like, do you... Is that, is that's that cool? it, man. That, that was super no? cool. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't fight it, so that's No, good. not at all. <laughs> all the animals that we're hiking with today are all rescues from unwanted, abandoned, neglected situations. And so they all have funny, quirky, unique little personalities. While these llamas are lovable and make for good hiking companions, they also serve a purpose in that they carry all your gear for you. Now that we'd had the proper introductions and made friends with the llamas, we get a brief overview of the hike ahead of us. Um, lower elevation, we'll probably, uh, the first two miles of the canyon, we gain less than a thousand feet, so a nice easy day for us today. And we're off. We are early in the hike when I begin to realize the knowledge I'm about to gain from Stewart's vast wilderness, ecology, and foraging expertise. So here's our first wild food demo. Would you like to try wild strawberry here All in New Mexico? Yeah. All right, come and get it, ready? No way. This is the New Mexico bracted strawberry. And you know, they're super tiny, mm -hmm. but I kid you not that they pack an incredibly powerful punch. Yeah. Take a taste of that and tell me what you think about the sugar content. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's like That's real concentrated, deal. man. That's a real deal. So not only is it wildflower season, but it's berry season. Oh, yeah. I'm all about incorporating wild foods into these trips. I love it. We'll gather some wild parsley. We'll gather some wild oregano. Cool. I love doing some foraging. Oh, man. Good stuff. <laughs> this is called oregano de la sierra. The guide always goes first. This way you trust me. <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay, so this is a pretty, um, pretty spicy little wild oregano. And if you just take a little taste, if you like pizza, you like pizza? Mm -hmm. It's very spicy. I'm only going to give you a little bit. Oh, that's excellent. Isn't mm -hmm. that amazing? It is spicy. The flowers are delicious. So, so great. <laughs> a wealth of knowledge this man is. People are amazed to see that we have these thick, lush, wonderful yeah. forests here in New Mexico. You just think it's all desert, and you see this, it's like, ah. No, it's not. It's amazing. <laughs> The Columbine Hunda Wilderness Study Area is a special place that many individuals have worked together to preserve. As a wilderness area, this forest will be protected for outdoors enthusiasts like ourselves to enjoy for generations to come. You know, a lot of it's about meeting nature on its own terms. Right. And uh, a solitude mm. experience, right? Right. Places like this are my church. Yeah, the sanctuary, man. You know, the sanctuary. My mental health clinic. Yep, all my, in one. My fitness center. <laughs> we come to a spot along the river where Stewart demonstrates how early settlers were paying for gold. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Just one more stretch of trail before we're stopping for our picnic lunch. As soon as we arrive at the clearing where we'll be picnicking, Stewart assigns each of us our own duties. Some of us start foraging for rose petals for garnishing the salad, while Stewart works with a couple of trusty Boy Scouts to get a fire started. We're now a pack just like our llamas, and those that work together get to enjoy a delicious meal together. With full bellies, we're ready for the return trip back. It's clear these animals have a wonderful life with Stuart now, hiking through the wilderness, making friends with each new trip. I'm glad I was able to join them for a day on the Columbine Canyon Trail. K2 here has a very big appetite and he likes lots of green things, so um, I re he reminds me of myself when I was young, you know. When you want to take a llama to lunch, here are some tips. Our day hike up Columbine Canyon left right outside of Cuesta, just a half hour north of Taos. Beyond day hikes, Wild Earth Llama Adventures offers multi-day excursions as well. 
Most treks are between four to 10 miles per day at over 8,000 feet. So make sure you acclimate to the altitude before going on one of the hikes.